Tet Island was actually one of the four largest rookeries in Louisiana for brown pelicans, snowy egrets, roseate spoonbills, least turns in a variety of other shorebirds. And now it's just a, a fragile remnant of what it once was. In 2010, prior to the oil spill, this was a pristine island with about eight foot mangroves. It was roughly around five and a half, almost six acres. This was ideal nesting ground for migratory birds in the wintertime looking for places to nest for the spring. Well, the oil spill hit and these little islands were here to greet the oil. The oil comes in, it kills the mangroves which then kills the root system, and the root is holding together this island. And without that root system holding together the sediment, it just erodes away. In just five years, we've seen this island almost disappear, and probably by the next anniversary, this island will be gone. The U.S. Wildlife and Fisheries studies show that chicks, when they're born, will imprint to these islands. So every year, they return to the same place they were born to breed and nest again. The study also shows that when the birds come back here, if the island is gone, they don't go off and breed somewhere else, they just don't breed. So we're losing generation after generation of birds. This is essentially one of the longest running environmental disasters in the U.S. Five years later, oil is still coming ashore here and will continue to come ashore here as scientists have found immense tar balls and oil still remaining at the bottom of the Gulf. See where the oil is? This is all oil up in here. Ultimately, what this means down the road, we don't know. We know when the oil spill hit in the first 95 days, over 800,000 birds perished. What does that mean for the long-term stability of those populations? We even had some rare and endangered birds that were actually nesting out here. And today, nothing, they're all gone. There is an effort to restore this island and to bring the sediment back and the mangroves back. So if we don't start doing restoration now in environments that were oiled, the harder that's going to be. It's going to take more resources, more money to build back what was there before the oil spill. Having this loss from sea level rise, from natural erosion, and to be exacerbated by the BP oil spill, to me, it really is, in a way, the canary in the coal mine for the habitats that are going to be threatened in the next couple decades.